Could we be witnessing the beginning of the end for the US dollar's global dominance? Right now, BRICS, a group of major economies including Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is taking bold steps to reshape how global transactions work. Their latest move? A new banking system that cuts out the US dollar entirely. This isn't just business as usual, it's a serious shift that's putting pressure on the dollar's status in international trade. The big question is, why now? With countries like Saudi Arabia and Algeria interested in joining, BRICS is rapidly expanding, offering an alternative to traditional Western financial systems like the IMF and World Bank. For many nations, joining BRICS means a chance to reduce dependency on the dollar and take back some control over their own economies. So what does this mean for the rest of the world? Could the BRICS alliance truly challenge the dollar and how might this impact global markets? In this video, we break down these urgent questions and what this shift could mean for everyone. But before we dive deeper into what this shift means for the global economy, take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel, stay informed on economic trends that affect us all. In the last few months, BRICS, a coalition of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa has been making waves across the global economic landscape. These five countries, known for their fast-growing economies and bold moves in global politics, have recently intensified their efforts to reshape the international financial order. The world is watching as BRICS expands its membership, brings in new ideas and pushes forward financial solutions that challenge the dominance of the Western-led financial system. One of the most significant developments recently is the addition of Algeria to the BRICS New Development Bank, NDB. This move isn't just a membership boost, it's a bold statement. By inviting Algeria to join its financial institution, BRICS is showing its commitment to building an independent financial network. This network aims to offer a real alternative to the dollar-based financial systems that many countries rely on today, particularly the ones dominated by the IMF and World Bank. Algeria, strategically located in North Africa and rich in natural resources, brings a whole new set of strengths to the table, especially as BRICS works to build a more resilient and diversified alliance. For BRICS, the goal is clear create an economic network where countries can support each other without depending on the traditional Western financial systems. Algeria's membership symbolizes a step toward a more independent economic future, one where emerging markets don't need to rely on established Western financial giants. This growing network is setting the stage for a multipolar world a world with multiple centers of economic power rather than one dominated by just a few countries or currencies. With Algeria in the fold, BRICS shows that it is serious about providing options that can meet the needs of countries seeking financial independence and sovereignty. But the changes in BRICS don't stop at new members. One of the most exciting developments within BRICS is happening between Russia and Iran. These two countries, both facing Western sanctions, are working together in an unprecedented way by linking their national financial systems. They've connected Russia's system for transfer of financial messages, SPFS, with Iran's system for electronic payment messaging, SCPAM, allowing them to conduct trade and financial transactions in their own currencies, the ruble and rial. Why is this a big deal? For starters, it means that Russia and Iran no longer have to rely on the US dollar or the SWIFT system, the global financial messaging network that most banks use for international transactions. SWIFT has long been the backbone of global banking, but for countries facing sanctions, access to this network can be blocked or restricted. By creating their own system, Russia and Iran are cutting out the middleman and increasing their financial independence. They're creating a new path for themselves, and the results are already starting to show. 
In fact, the partnership is bearing fruit. Over 60% of the trade between Russia and Iran now happens in their national currencies. This shift to trading in rubles and rials has had an immediate positive impact, with bilateral trade increasing by 15% and reaching $4.6 billion in 2022 alone. The two countries are aiming even higher, with a goal of doubling this trade volume to $8 billion in the coming years. This isn't just about numbers, it's about building a resilient economic relationship that can stand up to external pressures and restrictions. Energy is one sector that's especially benefiting from this new approach. Russian companies like Gazprom and Lukoil have invested significantly in Iran's oil and gas projects, making Russia the largest foreign investor in Iran's energy sector in 2022. This isn't just a business move, it's a strategic alignment. Both countries are determined to secure their energy futures, and by collaborating, they're building a robust foundation that can withstand the ups and downs of global politics. To make it even easier for businesses and individuals, Russia and Iran have also approved the mutual acceptance of each other's bank cards. This might sound like a small step, but it's actually huge. Russian and Iranian citizens can now use their national bank cards across both countries, making transactions much more accessible. Russia's VTB Bank, which has been heavily affected by Western sanctions, has even started offering direct money transfers between the two nations. These transactions can be completed in a single day, which is a game-changer for businesses, tourists and ordinary people alike. The financial partnership between Russia and Iran is more than just a collaboration. It's part of a larger strategy within BRICS. The bloc is working hard to create a financial environment where countries can thrive without being tied to Western financial systems. This mission of financial independence is resonating across the BRICS nations as each one looks for ways to strengthen its economy in an increasingly interconnected world. Iran's recent free trade agreement with the Eurasian Economic Union e -E -E -U, signed in December 2023 aligns perfectly with this vision. The agreement is designed to break down trade barriers and increase cooperation in sectors like energy and logistics. And because Iran is strategically located near key markets in the Middle East and Asia, it's in an ideal position to facilitate trade within this new network. As BRICS moves toward greater financial autonomy, it's drawing attention from around the globe. More and more countries are expressing interest in joining the bloc. Iran was among the first to formalize its application, a decision made soon after Russian President Vladimir Putin visited Tehran in August 2024. Azerbaijan has also thrown its hat in the ring confirming its application to join BRICS and signaling its desire for stronger global partnerships. This application follows Azerbaijan's signing of a strategic partnership declaration with China at the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO Summit in July 2024. By strengthening ties with both BRICS and China, Azerbaijan is positioning itself as a valuable player within this new economic framework. China always a diplomatic powerhouse, has extended its support to Malaysia's bid for BRICS membership. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim of Malaysia recently confirmed that his country submitted its application, drawn by the bloc's economic strength and potential for creating a more balanced international system. Malaysia's Foreign Minister Mohamed Hassan highlighted that BRICS's influence representing over 2 billion people with a combined GDP of more than $23 trillion, makes it an attractive platform for Malaysia's global ambitions. Thailand has also stepped up, with its cabinet approving an application to join BRICS. Thailand's Foreign Minister, Maris Sangam Poon, emphasized that BRICS offers a South-South cooperation model that Thailand has long sought. 
Vietnam, too, is keeping a close watch on BRICS, holding informal discussions with officials from Russia and China. Although Vietnam has not yet made a formal decision, these talks suggest a growing interest in the bloc. Meanwhile, Turkey's ambition to join BRICS is another highlight, as Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan announced during a high-level visit to China in June 2024. Turkey's potential membership would signal a significant shift in its foreign policy, especially as it seeks alternatives amid ongoing tensions within NATO and stalled EU accession talks. Perhaps one of the most talked about goals within BRICS right now is de-dollarization, reducing the reliance on the US dollar in international trade. This isn't a sudden decision. It's a carefully thought out move that's gaining traction across the global south. For BRICS countries, using their own currencies instead of the dollar means more than just economic strategy. It's about greater autonomy, resilience, and control over their own economies. How is this happening? BRICS countries are exploring a range of options. Some are setting up bilateral agreements to trade in local currencies, while others are developing digital currencies or even proposing a gold-backed currency. The recent addition of oil giants like Saudi Arabia has fueled discussions about trading energy in non-dollar currencies. Although Saudi Arabia's rial is still pegged to the dollar, there's speculation that oil transactions, particularly with countries like China and India, could gradually shift to other currencies. While the US dollar remains the world's dominant currency, making up 88% of foreign exchange transactions and over half of global trade invoicing, the de-dollarization trend is catching on. Central banks in many emerging economies are already diversifying their reserves, moving away from the dollar toward a broader mix of assets. BRICS members are also leading the charge in developing central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, which could make cross-border transactions faster, more secure, and less reliant on traditional financial infrastructure. Even though the dollar remains a powerful force, BRICS's collective push for de-dollarization is a clear signal that countries want alternatives. They're seeking a financial landscape where they aren't dependent on a single currency that can be influenced by one country's policies or economic cycles. While this transition won't happen overnight, the momentum is undeniable. Trade between BRICS nations has been on the rise, and the numbers tell a powerful story. In 2023, intra-BRICS trade reached an impressive $422 billion, thanks in large part to booming trade between China and Russia. Their trade hit $190 billion in 2022 and kept climbing, growing by another 20% in the first half of 2023. China and Brazil have also strengthened their economic ties, with trade reaching $165.6 billion in 2022. This growing trade network includes everything from Brazil's soybean and iron ore exports to China's technology and consumer goods, highlighting the diverse economic strengths of BRICS. But it's not just the volume of trade that's impressive. BRICS's recent expansion, which brought in six new members, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Egypt, Iran, Ethiopia, and Argentina, has significantly increased the bloc's economic clout. This enlarged BRICS now represents a combined GDP of $30.8 trillion, or 29.3% of global GDP, up from 26.3% in 2023. Adding Saudi Arabia and the UAE, both major oil producers, has boosted BRICS's share of global oil production from 20.4% to a staggering 43.1%. This expansion isn't just about numbers, it gives BRICS a strategic advantage. By having a large share of the world's oil production and nearly half of the world's population, 46%, within its ranks, BRICS can exert significant influence on global trade and resource allocation. Moreover, BRICS now controls 72% of 
of global rare earth production. These rare earth elements are critical for industries like electronics and renewable energy, giving BRICS an edge in sectors that are crucial for the future. With this level of control over strategic resources, BRICS has become a force to be reckoned with, and its influence will likely only grow. Looking ahead, BRICS has even bigger plans in store. Among the ideas on the table is the creation of a common currency. This concept, championed by Brazil's president and supported by China, has sparked discussions about how a shared currency could facilitate trade and reduce reliance on the US dollar. The idea is ambitious, but if implemented, it could dramatically change the global financial landscape by offering a real alternative to the dollar-dominated trade system. A common BRICS currency would be more than just a practical tool. It would be a symbol of the bloc's commitment to self-sufficiency and financial independence. It would simplify trade, reduce exchange rate risks, and make it easier for BRICS nations to invest in each other's economies. Although the road to a shared currency is challenging, the discussions indicate BRICS's willingness to think big and pursue bold solutions. As BRICS moves forward with its ambitious plans, we're seeing a real shakeup in global finance. This coalition isn't just making headlines, it's changing the rules. By expanding its membership, encouraging trade in local currencies, and reducing reliance on the US dollar, BRICS is paving the way for a financial system that gives countries more control over their own economies. This shift means that nations are less tied to Western financial systems and can make choices that better suit their needs. So, could this mean the end of the US dollar's dominance? It's too soon to say for sure, but one thing is clear. BRICS is challenging the traditional balance of power, giving countries an alternative path. The momentum behind BRICS shows that the world is open to change, and the global economy may be heading toward a future where financial control is spread across many regions, not just one. This could be the beginning of a more balanced, resilient financial landscape, one where nations have more options and greater independence. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you found this content valuable and would like to stay updated with similar topics, please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support, whether through a like, comment or share, helps us continue bringing you high quality content. We truly appreciate every bit of feedback and engagement from viewers like you. Have a fantastic day and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now.